All right, welcome back, guys. I told you this, this video is going to be very short and sweet. This is the GHS system. Um, it's called for the Globally Harmonized System of Identifying pic Pictograms. Um, when you see these on any substance, you might see them at a gas station or you might see it um, at work sometimes. Um, these are nine symbols that are all over the world. We used to have individualized ones, all like the uh, United States had some, Europe had some, and then when they travel substances around back and forth globally, they didn't know what they meant. So they came up with nine globalized um, pict pictograms that everybody around the world uses, and we're going to use them too. So this one right here, uh, stop that pen. This one right here, corrosive. Okay. That's the one you need to know. You need to know how to, what it looks like. It's got a hand. It's got a piece of metal or something. And then it has two test tubes and there's substances pouring out. And what it is, is if you notice right in here, they're digging little holes. And here it's kind of burning. So that's what corrosive does. It eats away, burns away. It's very um, hazardous to your skin and to your um, metals. So if you have anything metal, you don't really want to put it around it because it will start eating it away. The other one that we're going to use in class, or at least see in class, is this one here. It's flammable. That means it's going to catch on fire. Okay, Just like our candle, we could have put a flammable sign on it. It could have caught on fire. Um, these are usually for more hazardous stuff. Okay. Oxidizing, we'll see that one sometimes. That means it's going to react with, with oxygen. Okay, React with oxygen. The others, you might see them. If you do, you can ask more about them. Health hazard, basically it's, going to, it's like a respiratory issue could come up. Explosive, just because if it's in the right conditions, it could explode. Um, toxic, could have that as poison. Um, irritant means it's going to irritate your skin or irritate um, your eyes or something. So compressed gas means it's in a container and then dangerous to the environment. Don't pour it out. All right, next slide. This is the chemical hazard identification system. It's a, tr it's a diamond of four colors. You have blue. Blue is health hazard. Everything in the blue, red, and yellow are from zero to four, four meaning they're the most hazardous. Okay, so zero means there's no no danger with it. So if you have a health hazard and zero, don't worry about it. The white, that is the part that we need to focus on right here. The white part. This is a specific specific hazards. Okay, the ones that you need to worry about, and I probably shouldn't have done that. So let me get rid of that real quick. Uh, erase all on slide. The ones that you want to focus on and copy down in your journal are these first, these last two, and my pen's not really working. Use no water. It's a W with a line through it and radio, uh, radiation hazard. I believe both of those will show up on a test um, in some form. So please make sure you write them in your journal. If you have not drawn the other ones, try to draw them in your journal. I will be checking for the three drawings of the GHS system and the two things on this slide. Okay, guys, look for the next video. The next one's going to be on matter. It's a little longer. Sorry about that. Have a good night, guys. Enjoy.